Well, I went and done it. Took the door off. Figured it'd make it a lot easier to work on the patches on this side. I struggled with it. On the other side, I had to stand in that hole right there and reach under with a hammer and a dolly. And uh, I guess I'm going to get this side fixed up. And then I see over here on this corner, there's a hole up under there. So I'm going to have to fix that. And it lets me fix some more rust. I ain't careful. I'm going to have quite a project here. Thought I'd show you something I tried this time. Previously, when I was doing those patches, I wouldn't try to form this because I didn't think I could do it, but I decided to give it a shot this time. The little U shape in the floor pan. What I was doing is just coming about halfway and making that bend and that bend and then welding them together in the bottom. But I had a little trouble with that. That last patch I did is not exactly perfect. So I decided to try to form that. It worked out pretty good. All I did, I didn't have that in there, but I opened the vise up to about the right, the right width. And then I took this hammer and beat it down in there. And then I put this uh, T-bar on here. Just made out of some scrap metal. And sweetened up the edges like that. Now as you're forming this, it tends to bow the sheet metal up. But that's pretty easily straightened out. Just lay it down on something flat and, and hammer it back down. Well the ice outside is thawing. Warming up a little bit. I still gotta run the salamander. Burn some four dollar a gallon fuel. But uh, I'm going to try this little contraption on bending my next groove in the floorboard patch. I've got a piece of steel clamp there and there. I've got this little gap here. And then clamp the sheet metal to all that. And I'm hoping I can just hammer that right along that edge and along that edge. And make it look a little better than the last ones I did. So in the continuing saga of the rusty floorboards, Cut another piece out here. So we went from this to this to this. I'm getting better at these patches. By the time I get done, I'll know how to do it. And I found some more rust in there. Oh, gone it. I wish Obama would ban rust. It seems like that'd be a thing to do. And I think I'm just gonna weld that up. You can weld it up pretty good with a torch. And then we'll weld that piece in and I'm um, getting close to the end. I got some little, little place right there I need to get done. And I got a bunch of holes in the firewall to weld up. I think I'm going to go ahead and tear this dash part. Get all the wiring out, the custom radio mount and all that. And uh, try to clean this thing up and weld all the holes shut. Got those holes welded up pretty good. Looking good. What are you doing? Just a minute, pal. Just a minute, pal. Good deal on a used uh, AM FM cassette. What do you sell that for? Five bucks. Okay. Well, I'm much happier with uh, this side than I am the other side. But I'm not so unhappy with the other side. I'm going to cut it out and try it again, I don't think. All I got to do is weld in that little cut right there. And then I got a bunch of holes to weld up on the firewall. I'm going to get going on that. We got so much junk in here for Mrs. Heavy Chevy. <laughs> uh, Mr. Heavy Chevy, you're the one who put all this junk in here. I've been picking up my stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I was worried about rust holes. Look at all them darn holes in the firewall. Good grannies. Alright, I got most of the holes welded up in the firewall. I think of all the ones I need to weld up anyway. But maybe I need to do those too. I ain't sure yet. I think I'm going to go ahead and put some AC in it. It's a lot of holes. 
Good gracious. So I think the rust repair and the whole welding shut is done on the firewall and the floorboards. I still got to do that little corner right there. And then I need to paint it up and set that cab back on the frame. That's all you're getting out of me tonight.